Hello guys, Smart Polly here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you guys how to create this tropical island environment inside of Unreal Engine 5. I will show you how to create the basic island shape using the built-in ocean plugin inside of Unreal Engine 5. We will then apply a custom material that has a wet sand and dry sand variation. We will then paint foliage such as palm trees, bushes onto the landscape, and we will finally customize the ocean materials, lighting, and clouds to get our final result. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark, and if you're like me, you're frequently visiting many different websites. Chances are you probably ran into issues with websites that love to track you and sell your personal data. These problems can be easily solved with a VPN like Surfshark. A VPN is a virtual private network that gives you more privacy online. VPNs keep your online identity safe by encrypting the information you send over the internet. And it does this by switching your IP address with a new one. And with this, you can choose to have your location be from anywhere in the world. Do you really want random websites knowing everything you do across the internet? When you install Surfshark VPN on your computer, it effectively looks like somebody on a different device in another country is doing all the clicking. Or maybe you live on a remote island and you're having trouble accessing content that is blocked. With Surfshark VPN, you can easily change your location to access servers and content that is blocked by geo restrictions. With a VPN, you're protected against these websites that love to track you, and you can freely access content that is blocked in your region. So if you're looking to solve some of these problems, you can enter the promo code SMARTPOLY and get 83% off and an extra three months for free. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk in trying this out, and the link to download Surfshark is in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and launch Unreal Engine 5. Of course, if you're watching this video in the future, and if you have Unreal Engine 5.1, you should be able to follow this tutorial exactly. Then pick the template that you want to start out with. If you're going to use this for film, video, live events, or for games, I'm going to choose the third person template under the games section without any starter content. I'm just going to name our project Tropical Island and hit click create. So now that we are in our project here, all I'm going to do is enable a plugin real quick. So if you go under edit and search for plugins, I'm gonna go ahead and enable the water plugin. So just type in water here and click this checkbox to enable the water plugin. Click yes and it'll ask you to restart your editor. So just click restart now. Now, if this is your first time using the water plugin, it will take 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how fast your computer is, to compile all the shaders for the water plugin. So now that we're all done doing that, we can go ahead and create a new level. And I'm going to create a basic level here. And of course, I can go to File, Save Current Level As. And I'm going to save this as Tropical Island Map. So now we can go ahead and delete this floor. We don't need that. And we're going to go into the landscape mode. So click the select mode and change this to landscape. And for our landscape size, we can just leave all the settings as the default. Of course, you could change the resolution if you wanted a much larger landscape or much larger island. But I'm going to go ahead and just click create. Of course, you could sculpt here by using left click and then control Z if you want to undo that. I'm not going to use the sculpting brushes. What I'm going to do instead is exit out of the landscape mode. I'm going to select my landscape and in the details panel I'm going to make sure that I check enable edit layers. So make sure that we click enable this checkbox. It's going to pop up with this message and we're just going to click yes. Okay so just make sure that the enable edit layers checkbox is checked. So now we can go ahead and click the cube plus icon and under the all classes we can search for ocean. And we're going to see here water body ocean. So we can go ahead and select that and drag that into our scene. And you can see we have sort of this little island with this ocean surrounding us. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and add the landscape material. That will be our sand. So navigate to the project files. I'll leave a link in the description below. They are free to download. And once you have it downloaded, you just right click and extract the file. Go to your PC, Documents, Unreal Projects, wherever you have your Tropical Island project saved, you want to navigate to the folder and just open up the content folder. And then with both of these folders open up, 
you just copy the contents of the palm tree assets folder into your content folder and once you've copied those files over the underscore main and tropical material go ahead and close that and reopen your project open up our recent level tropical island map or just go to where your island map is and double click to open that up but now we should have this tropical material here that we can apply to our landscape so if we select our landscape in the details we can scroll down till we see landscape material and just take this mi underscore tropical landscape and drag it into the landscape material first you're going to see that our landscape is entirely black and this is because we just need to create the landscape layer infos so if we go into the landscape mode under the paint tab if you scroll down here you're going to see we have this layer tropical layer all we have to do is click this little plus icon to create a weight blended layer so click on that it's going to ask you to save the info let's click save and then you can see we have our material applied to our landscape now i'm not going to go too in depth on how this material works but basically we go to our tropical material and open up the material instance in the details panel we have these two variables that we can play around with so i'm going to size this window down like this i have two separate materials there is a sand wet and a sand dry and so these two values determine at which point should the sand wet start and at which point should the sand dry start for example if I go ahead and create a shape cube if you put the cube more towards the very edge of where the water meets the sand and if you copy the value of the Z you can paste it in for the sand min and max and then all you have to do is play around with the sand maximum to get the desired look so this case I have the dry sand at the top and the wet sand at the bottom another thing that I want to adjust here is you can see that this part goes down and so it has the sand wet right here so all we have to do to fix this is select our water body right here and pull this down so that we don't have this sort of divot here and then we may need to take this cube move it down a little bit copy the value paste it in there and then play around till you have the desired look okay so if you want you could copy the values that I have here on the screen so now we have wet sand surrounding the part where the water touches the island now I'm going to adjust the island shape so you can take any of these points and move them in so I'm gonna create a much smaller island by taking all the points and moving it in so now we have a smaller island we can go into the details panel and under the water height map settings if you expand this you can change some of the variables in here and that will change how steep the fall off is but what i'm more interested in is in the effects so this will add some breakup in our island shape so if we expand our curl noise here we can add a little bit of curl noise so on the curl one amount we can add 0.3 and what you'll see happen is it kind of adds this breakup to our island shape. Of course, you can play with all these values and get the desired look that you want. I'm going to add 0.1 and up the curl 1 tiling to 20 and the curl 2 tiling up to 30. So I've played around with these values, but like I said, you can mess around with them to get the desired look that you want. All right, so now that we have our island shape, let's go ahead and add some foliage that we can paint onto our island. If you head over to the Unreal Engine Marketplace, you can search for Tropical. Then all you have to do is filter by free. And we have this nice tropical vegetation banana plants. So go ahead and download this and add it to your project. All right, so once that's downloaded and added, we can go into our PN Banana folder. So that's the folder that was just downloaded. And under the meshes here, we have plants and props. For now, I'm going to go into the props. So we have this, these various ground leaves and bananas. So we can go ahead and paint this onto the ground. So to do that, we can go into the foliage mode. So click the select mode and go into the foliage mode. Then all we have to do is shift select these leaves and drag and drop them in the foliage type. Now we can shift select all of these. I'm going to change our paint density to point. 01 
and maybe we're going to increase that to 0.1 and increase our brush size to maybe a thousand so this looks good we can start painting these leaves on our island and then later on we'll paint the trees above these leaves all right so now that we're done painting the leaves we can go into our content drawer and we have under the pn banana we have under the meshes plants we have all these banana trees so what i'm going to do is select a couple of these plants and drag them into our foliage and then also if you download the project files we have some palm trees so if you go over to the underscore main meshes palm trees should have three different palm trees that we can use so select, shift select those and drag them into your foliage then all we want to do is uncheck everything and shift select everything other than dead leaves and bananas that we painted already so with all those selected we can paint some and you can see that the density is way too dense so control z to undo that i'm going to set this to 0 0.01 and I think that's a little bit more better of a density however we want to add a little bit more variation so if you go to the very bottom of the foliage editor we have some options here for scaling so what I want to do is for our minimum scale we can do 0.8 and our maximum scale we can do 2 so this will add variation to how tall and how small our trees and plants will look so now when we paint them, we have a lot more variations on our island. So now we have all of our trees painted on our island. You could fix and adjust some of the placement of the trees. You can erase some areas. And you could also add rocks and various other props. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to change the water material as well as the clouds and the general lighting. So to change the water material, first thing that you want to do is you want to select the water Make sure you have the water body ocean selected and you want to scroll down until you see the water material under the rendering tab. Now you want to make sure that in your content browser, you click the settings here. You want to make sure you have this checkbox show engine content and checkbox show plugin content. So make sure that you have both of these checkbox enabled. That way you can actually browse to these water materials. So in the water material, we can click this browse icon. And it's going to show us where this ocean water material is stored inside of our engine plugins water content. So instead of modifying this material, we don't want to actually modify this material because this is our global engine content. So this will modify it for every single project rather than the single project that we're using. So what we want to do is we want to duplicate this material. Go up and scroll up all the way to your content folder and just drag this and copy this click copy here into your content folder and of course you could make a new folder and name this water materials just to keep yourself organized so now that our water material ocean is moved in there I just want to right click rename this to water ocean modified and then we can double click to open that up now there's a lot of settings inside of this water material but the main thing that I want to change is the overall color because right now it's got this very bright blue cartoony uh, sort of stylized Fortnite water. So if we go into the water material, if we expand the absorption, we want to click this checkbox here. I want to just change two values. So under the alpha or the A, and changes to 10 and then we're going to check box this scattering expand that and we're going to change the alpha here and the scattering to 0 0.04 and click save that and then we want to drag our water ocean material onto our water material and you're going to see that adds a more darker ocean color and of course if you want you can play with those variables to get the desired look or desired color of your ocean now one thing that you're going to notice is if you look off into the distance, the ocean materials are not the same. So we're going to have to modify the ocean farm material. So to modify that material, all you have to do is click on your water zone. You want to scroll down about halfway until you see right down here, far distance. Okay, so click expand that and you're going to see this 
water underscore far mesh. Of course, you could also search for water underscore far mesh. But once we found the water far mesh material, browse to it. It's going to pull it up in our plugins folder. So we want to do the same thing by copying this over to our water materials and make sure you do copy here instead of move here. And then once it's copied into our water materials folder, we can rename this to water far modified. We can go ahead and open that up and we're going to make the same two changes that we did in our other material by setting our absorption to 10 and our scattering to 0 0.04. And now we just select our water zone and a drag and drop that and save that. And now you're going to see that the water material matches up and we don't have any weird lines on the edges. The next thing that I want to modify is the clouds. So the default Unreal Engine project comes with these default volumetric clouds and you can use control L to move the lighting around and it looks really nice in your scene but some of these clouds might not look the greatest so we can go ahead and add some more unique clouds uh, using the volumetric plugin. So if you go to edit plugins you can search for volumetrics and you see the volumetrics plugin all we have to do is go ahead and hit the checkbox to enable it and restart the editor. All right, and again, if this is your first time using the Volumetrics plugin, it's going to need to compile shaders. So you can see that it's preparing shaders, so we'll go ahead and give it a couple of minutes. All right, now that it is complete, we can go into our engine folder and make sure if you don't have the engine folder, you want to click the settings and show engine content and show plugin content. So now that we have the Volumetrics plugin installed, we can go to plugins scroll down to the very bottom till we see the volumetrics content and in the content we can search for sky materials and we have all these volumetric clouds I'm going to choose a volumetric cloud underscore zero two so if you select your sky and actually in the outliner if you select the volumetric cloud you scroll down we have this cloud material so just take this volumetric cloud underscore two and drag and drop it like so. Now there's a lot more different volumetric cloud materials that you can pick from and if you want you can duplicate these cloud materials and play around with the values. Of course if you're going to do that make sure that you copy it to your project content rather than in the plugin content. But now you can see we have some nice clouds. And of course you can change the lighting and time of day by hitting Control L on your keyboard if you want sort of a sunset or if you want to put the sun way up in the sky it's totally up to you now of course you can go into quixel bridge and add custom assets if you don't have a quixel bridge account all you have to do is sign in with your epic games account you have access to all of these 3d assets you can add things like these thai beach rocks all you have to do is drag and drop them into your scene and they'll start downloading automatically. But as you can see, it's really easy using some of the built-in water tools and plugin content to create this tropical island inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and also a big shout out to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check them out, make sure you use the link in the description below and use the code SMARTPOLY for 83% off. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.